polka dot patterns like these are quite easy to make. What we're going to do is to create a sort of template to make those patterns so that you can change the colors and also the size of the polka dots really easily. Here in Photoshop, I'm starting with a file that is 600 by 600 pixels in size. I happen to be using RGB color with a white background. I'm going to draw out a circle for this. I'm going to the ellipse tool and I'm making sure that it's set to shape. I'll hold the shift key as I drag out a really large circle. So I'm going to start this particular design with a large circle. I'm positioning it in the middle of the document here. I'm going back to one of my shape tools and I'm going to use one of my colors. For this, let's use the colorful colors that I have set here. So let's use the pink color. Over here in the layers panel, the secret to this design is going to be to make this a smart object. We'll right click right here and choose convert to smart object. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer again by right clicking and choose duplicate layer. This topmost layer we're going to send to the corners of the document because that's what makes a pattern. So with this topmost layer selected, I'll choose filter and then other and then offset. The only thing you have to remember here is how big your original document was. Mine was 600 by 600. I'm dividing that by two to get 300. So I'm making the horizontal and vertical offsets half the width and half the height of the document. If you remember this process of half the width and half the height of a document in this offset filter, you're just never going to make a mistake. Make sure you set it to wrap around. You'll know that it's not working if you don't have wrap around selected and make sure previous turned on so you can see it. Click OK. Because I had a white background in place already, this is now a pattern. To make it a pattern, edit define pattern. I'm calling it large dots. Now, if I want this to be smaller dots and a different color, let's see how we do that. I'm going to double click on one of these smart objects. It does not matter which one because they both open up to the exact same document. I'm going to come in here and hold the Alt or Option key and the Shift key as I size down my dot. Now I want a very small dot this time, so I'm going to choose this sort of size. I'm coming up here to the fill and let's change the fill color to a blue. Now the important thing to realize with smart objects is that to get back to your document, you need to close them. So I'm going to click here on the close option and I'm going to say yes to saving it. We're saving the embedded smart object. When I come back into my document, you can see that the middle dot and the dots in the corner have all been changed in terms of size and color. Let's make this a pattern, edit, define pattern, little dots. To test this, we're going to create a much bigger document. So I'm going to choose one that is 3600 by 3600 pixels in size. The way I like to add patterns is to go to layer, new fill layer, and then pattern. Click OK, and then go to the very bottom of the patterns panel. This is the large pink dot pattern. Turn that off and let's add a different layer, new fill layer, pattern, OK and go and see our blue dot. Because when I created these patterns, we had the background visible, you'll see that each of these designs has brought in the background with them. So if I turn the background off of the document, we're still able to see the background because the patterns have it built in. If you don't want that to be the case before you save your patterns, turn your background off and just save them without the background. Then you'll have a transparent background. And with a transparent background, you would be able to put your own background into any document that contained those patterns. This original pattern file is very easy to edit. You're just going to double click on the ellipse, make a change to the size of the dot and if desired to the color of the dot. Close the embedded smart object, but save it. And then go and save your pattern using edit and define pattern. You can always change the pattern in use in a document. Double click on the pattern fill layer and go and select your new pattern. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. 
I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.